there are a number of areas in the software where layouts appear, for example sales orders and purchase orders. For this demonstration, I'll be editing an invoice layout. First, as with reports, find the layout you want in the area you would normally use to run it. As mentioned, I'll be editing an invoice layout, so first step is to access the Invoices and Credits module. Select any invoice from the list and then choose Print from just above. Choose Layouts on the left hand side and this opens a list of invoice layouts that are already in the software. Select the layout you want to change, then either right click and choose Edit or you can choose the edit icon near the top of the screen. This then opens the report designer window. As with reports, we will need to change the existing layout name by going to report, then choosing report properties. Change the report name as required. If you put two spaces at the start of the report name, this ensures your layout appears at the top of the list in the report browser. The description can be changed as well if needed. When you click enter or OK, the layout name changes at the top of the report designer window as shown. You also need to give the layout a new file name as default reports and layouts can't be overwritten. Notice the Save button is greyed out, so we need to choose Save As. Report Designer automatically defaults to the correct folder called Layouts. It chooses the Layouts folder for the company you're logged into. Every layout in the software is contained in this folder, whether it's invoice layouts, purchase order layout, statements, etc. As with reports, the file name defaults to copy of, however this can be changed as appropriate. Save as type automatically defaults to layout files and this doesn't need to be changed. Click save, then close report designer. You will need to close out the report browser initially and then when you go back into the report browser, you'll see the newly edited layout appears at the top of the list.